weave for sure. That's for sure. So, there's this really cool thing that happens when it becomes winter time, somewhere around November, December. It's called dry air, and it makes my nose bleed sometimes. So that's how my night's starting off. Got a little nose bleed ski. But that is besides the point. The plan now is to meet up with my buddy Corey at my boat at my parents' house, load up, and go try to catch a couple fish. Oh look, what do we have here? It's an unsuspecting suspect. I tried stealing it, there's a lot going on. Yeah, well, sorry it took so long, I got a nosebleed. I see that. <laughs> Yeah, it's that time of year, exactly. He gets it. All right, fellas, starting off the night, throwing a big old swim bait. And oh yeah, I got my new reel all spooled up. You can't really see it, but there it is. Professionally spooled by hand at my house. And it, I didn't have enough line, so yeah, there's that. Uh, let's fish, see what happens. All right, well. Corey was just telling me a story about when his, our buddy was catching a fish. And now he's catching a fish. It's not even that big, but it's not small. Bigger than I thought it was when I saw it in the water, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Oh, wow. All right, well, that's looking, looking a little bit more promising. Been out here about 15 minutes, no bites. First bite is a gaggy, and not a bad one. He's a handsome little boy. Thank you. Oh, I got an A-rig stuck in my pants. Is he good? Legally? I don't know, I think he's, yeah, yeah, he's 24. He's probably 26. Is he 27? <laughs> Good job, Corey. <laughs> like, is, 30. He, is he 24? We got tail, you know, 26 and a half. Just let the record be shown that I thought it was 26 inches max. And it is, uh, it is 27, what? Yeah. It's pretty six and a half. 26 and a half. All right, well, we were wondering if it was a keeper. That it is. I mean. It's funny how small it is. Yeah. Funny how I call 27 small now. I don't know. I mean, I'll keep one. Close the door. Close the lid. <laughs> close the lid. Uh, I got a towel if you want. Well, the original plan was to throw this Alabama rig or a rig, as we like to call it in the bass world, us professional bass fishermen. We call it an a rig for short. Uh, we were gonna, I was going to throw this around and try to catch some snapper and snook around the rock piles, but Corey just got to keep her gag. And with the prospect of big fish around, I think it might be time to put this away until we catch a few of those guys. So this will come out later as soon as I get my butt handed to me by a gaggy, and then I'll maybe bring this back out. Because I do want to try to catch a fish on the Alabama rig out here in the saltwater. I think that'd be pretty fun. But for now, time to throw some big swim baits. I thought it was giant. Is it giant? It is goo. It's a goo one. It's a goo one. Go fish it. It's a fish. Woo. Fish it. Oops. Come on here. Yes. I think it's smaller than yours. I got a fish on my surtate though. I got a fish. Ooh, it's heavy. It's heavy. Let me get the light here. Just let me just get the light here so we can inspect this guy. He's heavy. Yeah. <laughs> well, surtate. This rod's kind of deceptive. Being honest. All right, spot lock us here real quick. 
Yeah, this is not uh, what I would classify as a bad one. I didn't think it was as big as this. What's happening here? What is happening here? For sure, that's for sure. Let's see. Uh -huh. He is. No, he's, he's like twenty. He's like twenty-four. Okay. Yeah, he's like right at twenty-three, maybe. Yeah. All right. Back in you go. You stinker head. Oh no! Do three. Well, I will say. <clears throat> Originally, I was uh, thinking that I was not going to get a fish out here. And then Corey hooked up, and I instantly hooked up after. So, things are looking good. And, first fish on the cert tape. It did well. It did very well. Not going to lie to you, I'm over here rigging. It sounds like you're catching something. Is that a mangrove? That looks a lot like a mangrove in the size of a grouper. <laughs> is, that, is that what I think it is? Are you kidding me? That's like a 22 inch oh snapper. <laughs> Alright, so here's an 8 inch bait. That thing, that, that's 20, at least. Excellent. Let's see, it's about 9, 18, yeah, it's 50 pounds. Unreal. Unreal. Look at that. I mean, that's a four pound snapper. Three pound, three pound snapper. Well, that one we'll keep. Oh, uh, yeah. It looks like a mangrove jack. <laughs> right? Crazy, is that? That's a flat, flat tail. There's right at zero. Right almost at 20. Right about 20. Pinch the tail, 20. Unreal, wow. And you know what's crazy? Is people always talk about summertime snapper, summertime snapper. And you're wearing a beanie. It's cold. And a jacket. And a onesie, as I call it. Wow, well, let's stick them in the live well. Gonna have a nice meal. Go eat. Beauteous. There's a friend in there for you. Oh. He knocked out the... Knocked out the. Holy crap, dude! He broke it. It broke. No, no, it's a, it's a rubber thing. I can fix it. It'll be all right. I'll get in there, and fix it. All right, another one in the box. Well, people, I just got rolled on the Alabama rig, or as us bass folk call it, an A rig. Um, a tarpon tried to eat my Alabama rig. So if that's not cool. I don't know what is. Not to mention it's cold and there's tarpon. Ah. One just came up and gulped air over it. <laughs> <laughs> 